Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Ajo with KissAnalog.com. Okay, so uh, this is going to be about a package opening. Something I ordered before I moved, which still not quite moved in. That's why the setting, and sorry about the tripod, the open hand holding of the camera kind of thing, sound quality and all that kind of stuff. Uh, anyway, I'm kind of anxious to open up this box and see what I ordered. I think it's a multimeter and some other stuff, I believe. Uh, let's take a look. Okay, so this is a little package got from my Amazon. Folks, I love Amazon. I like getting things at the door. And I'm trying to build up my, my lab. So I've been buying a few things here and there. And I believe this is a multimeter. So let's take a look and see what's inside. See what Amazon sent. I guess I could look at shipping notices and so on, but I just want to jump in this guy. Yep, there we go. Take out a nice little bubble wraps. What do we got here? This is a multimeter kit set. Oh yeah, there we go. This little guy, I'm gonna get back to you on the price on this. It was fairly inexpensive, I was impressed because I was at a fry store in California not too long ago and the cost of uh, fluke type leads were very expensive. We're out there working and needed stuff. Uh, anyway, what is this? This is this is going to be one of those inexpensive meters. I'm going to get back to your price on this too. 6,000 count. Um, I'm going to compare it to some high-end stuff. So, but right now we just want to open it up and take a look at it. Um, I'm going to go over the prices with you after on the end of this video. Uh, so, okay, let's lift this guy up. You know, sometimes you get these packages and you spend a lot of money on the packaging, and it's kind of a waste, I think. I'd rather have them spend the money on um, what I want inside the box versus how fancy the box is. Um, anyway, it's nicely wrapped. It's got a nice feel to it. It's got a nice display. I mean, this is a fairly inexpensive meter, um, but it did come with some of the features I think is important, and um, and, a, and a low enough cost I thought was reasonable for most people to pick up. So, here's that guy. Let's see what leads it came with. Your basic multimeter leads, which these are a little bit on the stiffer side. Not, they don't feel like silicone to me. Uh, they have these little protective gadgets on the end of the tips, which, yeah, fairly sharp tips. Uh, anyway, okay, so that's why I bought the other package. I wanted some good leads, but those those seem those seem reasonably nice. Um, then a Type K thermistor, little leads here and. Yeah, where's the little end of it? There's the end. Yeah, I can see that. Well, I need to chip those fingernails, looks like. Um, anyway, uh, and there's the little... Um, what is that? That is to test uh, transistors, it looks like. And it has a Kelvin connection as well. The Kelvin connection is top two, and the little pins on the bottom are the for the transistor checker. So that's what it looks like came inside the box. And let's take this guy out of the wrapper. And have to put down the camera for a second. Um, rip this guy open. All right, I'm back. So, there we go. That's what it looks like. It's a nice size. Um, my hands are a little bit on the large size, but the meter easily fits. 
not extremely heavy in this case it's a little bit more on the plastic than the soft rubber side uh, has this magnetic catch here so you can strap it around a bar or something and I don't know yeah I'm not sure if that's strong enough to hold it but maybe um, anyway let's see what this does it come with batteries it did come with batteries and it has a little beep. I'm on the ohms of the beep scale. So. Huh. There's a temperature scale. And this guy. What is it? I'm looking for the Cat 2, 1000 volt, Cat 3, 600 volt. It's got the 10 amp the milliamp slash microamp scale and uh 600 volt max it says um i like the individual inputs the those soft buttons are kind of rubbery feeling kind of silicone feel to them 6000 count has a nice big display and i like that so Glare there on the screen. Yeah, so, huh? There's that transistor checker. I'm gonna, you know, some people scoff at the transistor checkers, but uh, if you're just checking some basic stuff, it might be okay. I don't know. We're gonna check it out. And there's capacitor. I'm gonna get some components and test some of these functions and see how well that works. But yeah, it seems like a reasonably nice meter for how inexpensive it was. And it does have the low stand back here. Kind of a plasticky feel. I mean, it's definitely, definitely doesn't have the feel of a fluke. Uh, but it didn't have the expensive of a fluke either. Anyway, we'll see. It's always good to have more many multimeters sitting around. When I'm doing power supply design I, or test, I, I have a slew of meters on each output, input, current, voltage. So it's nice to have meters, but we're gonna test this guy, as far as accuracy and so on, with uh, side by side with some better meters to just to see how she works. Now, I'm trying to open up this thing. This thing has some extra tape holding it. Let me use two hands here. Okay, so we have to get open, and, uh oh, there's a little mirror bouncing around the cabinet, counter, um, okay, it has a little plunger on the back, and the little grabbers there, they look like they're, they're pretty decent, they'll work, um, yeah, you know, you pay a lot for those flukes, but you do get some quality. But I don't know, these will hold up for a little while anyway. Um, it's nice to have these kind of grippers here. Again, another little plunger down here. And what it does is it opens up this and it'll bite down into your wire and hold on to the, to the wire for you. So that's nice. Um, just one of the Nice sharp pointer on this guy. Wanted a variety of leads just to have around. There's the black one to match the yellow guy. And here's the leads. And the, the, these leads are actually kind of soft and pliable. They feel pretty good. Um, also comes with the little smaller alligator. 
Some pretty nice teeth on there. And the bigger alligator, strong spring on that guy. So, yeah, there you go. So, got a little kit. Okay, let me get the cost for these things and uh, we'll see what you think. All right, so this is what came in the little package. And by the way, I opened up the little book here. Well, if you want to call it a book, it's just a document showing the instrument and the specs and the ranges for DC voltage, temperature, DC current, AC voltage, and you know, transistor gain type information. Um, so it's just a little document here. Let me open it up if I can. And uh, it just describes what each feature does and the accessories it comes with. Right there, the Type K thermocouple, the multi-function socket they call it, where you plug the transistors or Type K thermistor um, standard jacks. Um, so anyway, reach frequency and all the jazz and multimeter. So there's a multi-function kit. Test seats came with it and. So there we go. Uh, this is temperature right here. And uh, just sitting here reading 59 degrees. Kind of chilly, just came home. Left today and there's a snowstorm. Uh, anyway, the box, pretty basic, inexpensive box. Uh, the meter I looked into it, it's $30, $29.99. So that's what that thing cost. And the leads are uh, matched with the cat rating of the of the meter, so uh, double insulated. And this is the other little guy I picked up, and this was thirty eight dollars, I believe it was. So it cost more than a multimeter, but um, but these leads, you know, if you got the fluke version, just a set like this by themselves, I believe is is cost more than that. Um, these aren't as nice, but of course, you know, I'm not going to use them every day and they'll be fine for when I need, need to use them in. And I'll eventually buy some nicer leads, but just wanted to get a kit and came with the box. And actually these, these, uh, these do have a kind of silicone uh, filled to them and they're Cat 3. Uh, they have a nice, I like these. Uh, so, yeah, just a little starter kit, just something to play with and... That's what we got, and hope you enjoyed this. Give me a thumbs up if you like this, and I will review this meter. I'm gonna get some transistors, capacitors, some other components, and we'll see how well this works. And by the way, uh, this little select button, if you see these little soft buttons here, um, you have the range, relative, you know, so if you wanna do relative, you just push this, it zeroes it out, and then it tells you the delta. We'll do that in just a moment here. Um, the select will select between um, now it's shown Celsius, so it was Fahrenheit. So, our friend the EEV blog, uh, Mr. Dave, would like that. But we're going to put it right here just so he can see what it is in Fahrenheit. <laughs> anyway, there we go. So, all right. Hey, thanks, guys. See you next time.